or good evening wherever you're watching us. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing something really exciting and we're going to be doing a photo challenge. Woo! So Juan actually does not know what he's going to be doing. I actually have it in my handy dandy purse and he's not going to find out what he's going to be doing as far as his photo challenge but I did pick a spot and we are at Universal Studios. Alrighty guys, so we made it here to Universal Studios City Walk and I'm going to give Juan his challenge. So he has not seen it yet, so I'm gonna let you guys see that first and then I will give that to him. So you have 45 minutes to complete this challenge and the minute that we start and you are able to look at that list, the timer will start. So and uh, the minute he looks at that, um, we will start the timer. Ready and go. So Juan said he was actually nervous to do this and timer starts now. This is actually a pretty good challenge. There's a lot of things in here that are going to challenge me that I'm not used to. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to capture everything, but we'll give it a try. So the first one is take a picture of depth. So we'll go down and give that a try. <laughs> we have the pop, popcorn polish sign, so I'm gonna step back and try to get a full picture of this. So for this one, I'm gonna wind all the way back down to 24 millimeters so I can try to get the full white thing. If people come out, whatever, but maybe we'll get one more people in. The next one is take a picture and edit it in black and white. So that could be anything. So because of that, I'm gonna actually try to get something with shadow. The black and white one, I can also get it with uh, with texture. So right behind you, I'm seeing texture here and I like it, but I can also use it with the shadow. But I need a person. Okay. back there, so we're going to head to the back. So we got, we've been five minutes into the challenge. I found out a spot with water that I do in this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get a little bit with it and get the reflection of some of the neon lights in the back of Buffalo Hills restaurant and see if I can get it to reflect off the water that's splashing here on the side. like I wanted it to, but I did get a capturing as it was coming down right under the bubble gum sign, so I think that will work with the blue water, but it gave me a little bit extra on it. I found another thing that has the color red, which is the Hard Rock Cafe, and the guitar next to it, they dressed it up in red, which I had never seen this one in red, but I think I'm gonna capture this for the sound of the color red. a lot here and there's more restaurants not food stands so it's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. Is it okay if I take a picture of the Grand Stonet? <laughs> About that one. I asked for permission, which I think is the right thing to do, and they said yeah, I can do whatever I want. So, <laughs> um, so I got texture, 
something colorful. You guys want to get a picture of these buildings because they're different colors. There's pink, blue, turquoise. I'm gonna try to do And I think you're close to finishing the challenge, huh? Yeah. And let's see what we got. We got 29 minutes to go. Good. Oh, long exposure. So for long exposure, I'm gonna try to get the Christmas tree that they have here, and maybe I can blur out some of the people. And I didn't bring a tripod, so I'm gonna try to sit it on something, probably on top of the bin. I tried it at 13th of a second, but I think that's too fast though. So I'm gonna try it at two seconds. Hopefully this thing doesn't work. I had to bump it up to one fifth of a second you still see the people clearly because it's too bright where I'm shooting at to get it at where the people disappear. But it's okay, the picture still came out and it's technically long exposure. I would never do the handheld, that's why I had to sit on someone. So, I think for the very last one, take, ask a stranger if you can photograph them. But, I might do the alternative of taking a picture of a shadow. Maybe I'll take a shadow of a stranger. And that's kind of a mix of both, we'll see. How are we with that? We are at 25 minutes. I think I was too generous with time. I think I should have given him 15 minutes, but I think we thought that it was gonna be a little bit more full and it was gonna, it's our first challenge, so. Um, we thought it was gonna be a little bit more challenging to do it with less time, but for the next one, if you guys request anything, then we will do it shorter and we can do it at a different place as well. in 20 minutes so 15 minutes would have been a challenge actually this one really wasn't a challenge as far as the time goes but how did you feel as far as everything that you did I in was the challenge super nervous because I didn't know what the game plan was to prep myself mentally before coming here so that in itself had me like very anxious the whole time even when I was doing it I was, like my brain was scrambling of, like okay what what should I capture what looks like it and I'll be honest I think I might have taken the easier route on some of these pictures because I was so nervous but it was a good time uh, it was a good first time challenge I think um, it was fun we'll see how the pictures come out I'm not expecting anything great but maybe some artistic ones here and there. Thank you guys so much for watching this and thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, if you're not already, I ask that you please subscribe and maybe even give it a thumbs up. Uh, other than that, stay tuned for next time we do our next video. I always post it on Wednesday, so make sure you look out for that. Thanks guys.